Okay. I like the, the word that you use, monomania, to just eat as much as you can of what is in season. Mm -hmm. And what a good common sense idea to not, you know, not to be relying on prepared foods, but things that are in season at the time. Yes, especially because you have so much, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I know it's, you know, people, someone sometimes tell me that, well, you, we don't have as many markets here as, as in France, but I said, but you know, um, there are over 3,000 markets in the U.S. now, and so there must be one near wherever you live. And some supermarkets have good f uh, fruit and vegetables. And living with the season, you really have to pay attention to what you should eat now. You know, now we should eat pears and apples and mm -hmm. not berries because they don't taste like much, you know. Um, I was in a hotel just recently and they, they served me tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And they were like, you know, yeah, sorry, I don't yeah. want to eat tomatoes. Now I, I want to eat um, squash, I want to eat uh, celery, I want to eat leeks, of course, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. parsnips and all these things. And, you know, I'll get tired, we'll all get tired of them after a few months and then it will be spring, so mm -hmm. we'll move on. But I think that's what makes life, you know, not routine and yeah. again, makes you aware of how life is never the same. Mm -hmm. And that works great with kids too to get them to eat healthy things. Like when I brought home the first orange, just the first bag of oranges just a week or two ago, oh, you know, <laughs> everybody oh, oranges because they had seen yeah. them yes. for months and months. Mm -hmm. And they ate oranges, you know, all yeah. week long. That's how it is with Clementine. I was we just, yeah. uh, <laughs> I just felt, out now. I yeah. felt like I was jumping the gun because I last week I got a box of Clementines. And I was like, oh, I've been waiting, but they were, it was like just too oh, soon. Like some of them were still a little sour, yeah. not quite. Yeah. Like, oh, two more weeks and they're going to be <laughs> sour. It's such a short time. Because that by, you the, can by eat the end them. of January, yeah. they're right. not good mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. But right. think of the pleasure you're getting out of that two week. Right. Period. Mm -hmm. Which is mm -hmm. just so yeah. wonderful about local markets is that, or uh, you, you go to a farmer's market and they will tell you um, when do you plan on eating this peach? Mm -hmm. When do you plan on eating, you know, this pear? Keep it in a bag. Do this to it. Do that. It's a lot of. Um, they really know what it is that they're growing, and they really know. Um, what you need to do to make it so you can enjoy it the most. And that's right. something you don't necessarily get out of a regular oh, grocery yes. store. No, so I love, I love the yeah. attention there. Well, the biggest change for my family was joining a CSA four years ago, which is the Community Supported Agriculture. So mm -hmm. we pay a farm, a local farm, in May for the whole season and mm -hmm. then every week we receive a box of vegetables and it's all been harvested oh, within the past 24 hours yes. and it introduces so in, like in June it's almost all greens mm -hmm. you know but by the end of and for the children mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. because we go out to the farm and they've picked the beans and mm -hmm. my son who would never have picked a bean or eaten a bean because he's picked it himself he's eating it mm -hmm. and Absolutely. so it resonated for me reading about this, but there's still something, there's an elegance to what you describe. And that's, I think, why the introductory quote got me thinking about sort of your emphasis on simplicity and seasonality, because there, is the, there are those trends in America, you know, with the CSA, and, but there's still something that feels different about what you're describing, that there's an elegance to it that I do admire and feels culturally different. Mm -hmm. And I can't put my like we're finger, not quite grasping I can't it. put my finger on yeah. it. That there's, and I, it's wonderful, and, but there's something about the thought of that dark chocolate, and it just feels so elegant. No, mm -hmm. no, it's ideally, I mean, I, I recognize that, you know, uh, and certainly writing the book, you know, and, and remembering some of the stories, I hadn't thought about it for years, I remember m when my husband read the GGG, the Georgia Gouda Gougère, yeah. he said to me, you never told me this story. And I said, you know, darling, actually, I hadn't thought that about that for years. And when I was going through this box of recipes, and I was looking for simple recipes, you know, under 30 minutes, I came to the little scrap of paper that the lady at the brasserie, the cafe, had given me when I requested it. And that whole, and I just, you know, went and mm -hmm. typed it in. Yeah. And so I realized that, you know, not every French girl has had that idyllic uh, childhood mm -hmm. because my grandmother had a restaurant, uh, my uncle was a chef and he had a spa, 
and my uh, we had my grandmother had, there were seven sisters and they were all wonderful cooks my mother was a good cook we could good cook and we had a big garden and uh, you know as a child it wasn't so sexy to go and pick mushrooms on <laughs> sunday because <laughs> you know monday morning at school all the other kids were discussing the movie they had gone to see and and what about you mira and i said well, i went picking mushrooms at the farm in Alsace, and they go like Wow. <laughs> boring. Well. But you know, of course, as an adult, you realize how rich that was and how mm -hmm. special. And sure. then, yeah. you know, what it did to, to, to us as children that, of course, as children, we are not aware of. It has to, that's why I said it's so yeah. important, uh, you as mothers, to make sure that you do just these few things for your children because mm -hmm. that's what they will remember later on. And mm -hmm. you want them to be nice and lovely memories. Even if they complain all the Even way. if they through complain. Strawberry picking. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that they will, you know, I, because absolutely. you've gone through I that. Agree. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and that, for me, that was a, a nice way to, you know, think about a lot of things.